Hello everyone, I'm back with another tech video um, and this is a rather exciting one because at the time of recording this tech was actually discovered today and uh, in my opinion this is probably the most influential technique that's been discovered since angle saving was found over a little over two years ago. Um, functionally speaking, te or technically speaking, this tech was discovered by Kotiv on Discord, uh, I think it would have been at least over a, a month or two ago when he used it to cheese one of my puzzles. But I had initially dismissed the tech because in the video he posted, it took him many, many tries to get it to work. And in my limited testing, I wasn't able to get it to happen uh, when I did it two months ago. But since then, I tried it again earlier today and I realized that it's actually very consistent and also very good. Um, I'll show some examples at this end of the video after the tutorial and hopefully you'll see why it's so influential and uh, why this is such a cool tech. So basically this tech that I'm going to be calling grab clipping or uh, door clip grabbing, whichever one you prefer, uh, allows you to clip through a door and grab an item at the same time, uh, just like this. It works from both sides. Um, it only works uh, notably on doors and windows. Um, it doesn't work on walls. I tried it many times on a wall and I just couldn't get it to work, unfortunately. But it's still very useful even on just doors. So all you have to do to get um, the item to come with you is one frame after you unragged all to clip into the door, you hit grab um, and then the item will come with you. But it's a little trickier than that. Because normally, if I were to um, ragdoll twice very fast and hit grab, you can't see me hitting grab, but after I unragdoll the second time, um, I'm, I'm grabbing, but I won't grab the gun. And the reason for this is because I'm too high up above it. Um, but if I, if I fall over a little bit like this, and then I unragdoll and hit grab, then I'll grab the gun immediately. And this is because um, I'm closer to the ground when I unragdoll. So... Um, this is something you have to take account into when you're clipping, because if, if you normally clip, you can clip it really close to the door and you can do it really fast. But when you're um, when you're door uh, when you're clip grabbing or or door clip grabbing, um, you have to start your first ragdoll a little bit further back, so that by the time you're at the door, you're lower to the ground and you can grab the item when you clip through it. Um, this is really all you have to do, though. All you have to do is hit grab after unragdolling the second time, and it's fairly easy, in fact. Um, I'm shocked that it hasn't been discovered sooner, or at least hasn't been uh, implemented sooner. But uh, I'll go through all the different cases and where you can use in all the different block structures, and then I'll go um, over some examples on real maps. So here I've set up all the different um, things that you can clip and use with this tech. Um, it will also work with uh, barred windows, but that's uh, functionally the same as a normal window. I'll just demonstrate here so you can see uh, working with all of these. And there you go. So the first example we're going to look at here is on Bunker 01, where you can actually use this tech to get the guns out of these boxes on the left or right without um, using a key to open the door. Usually um, what people will do on online games is sometimes you can clip um, into this room with these two boxes under here and then you can use the sniper to shoot out and get some angles if so if they so happen to align in the right spot um, if they just let you angle them basically. Um, but with uh, clip grabbing you can actually get the gun out of the box now without unlocking it. But because we're in offline, I'm going to have to downclip this door to get in there without unlocking it, which may take... Oh, never mind. So all you have to do is throw the gun against the wall, the door. It doesn't have to be super close, but I found that if it's on the spawner, it's not as consistent. Um, and then you just ragdoll clip in the door, and you can, you're can you in the wall. Um, something to note is that after you've clipped, you can actually stay in the wall for a little bit and do some extremely disgusting angles here um, while people can't hit you. Uh, don't do this, but you could do this, um, and obviously you can get the gun out and you can use it anywhere on the map. 
It's also worth noting that on this side, um, it's a little bit harder because you can't downflip this door. And online, I'm pretty sure you can still do the thing with the boxes. Um, but in offline too and online, I'm pretty sure you can do this clip here. It's not as consistent, but if you wall clip this this wall and then just kind of mash your way to the top. Well, that time it didn't work. I'll just cut when I get it. So there we go. Now that I'm in here, um, usually it's not terribly hard uh, if you to just use the boxes in online mode, which is what I would recommend. But um, you can also do that out of spawn and it'll work. But you can now, you can throw that against the wall clip and take the gun with you. Um, which is sick because this is actually a pretty cool gun on this map. Especially if you're able to do this really fast, um, then you can... You can have you can actually fight against someone who's also using the sniper um, who also did this tech or just open the door manually, which would be cool to see. So I guess we're gonna move on to the next map now. So the next example is actually gonna be on Bunker 02, um, the next map in line after the last one. On this bottom set of locked doors here, you can use this tech to clip through them with the gun. Um, you can imagine how powerful this would be, especially if you use. I mean, you can use anything really. You can use a grenade, and then you can do this. So that's kind of gross. Don't do that, but you could do that. Um, works with the sniper too. If I can get it. There we go. Another really a disgusting thing you can do is that you can shoot while it's still in the wall, and you can angle people still in the wall, um, which is kind of crazy. Works uh, obviously works with this snubby pistol. So if you happen to have one instead of a gun, you can still use that. Um, I guess one last thing to note is that it does also work on unlocked doors, but there's not really much of a point, obviously, because you can walk through them and also um, it's not quite as good because you can't stand on top of them without moving. But that'll be it for this level. So this next example, it will be on Forest 18. Um, this is a really classic map. I think almost everyone has this as one of their favorite maps. Um, but it's really important on this map because now you don't have to wait for the other person to open the door. You can just clip right through with a net gun and uh, immediately get to the other side, which is insane. Um, it works with the sniper too. If you ever you notice that you're half clipped into the door like that, you can just jump once and then um, you'll go all the way up and you can walk forward normally. But it'll obviously work from the right to the left side too, I'll show you that. So there you go, works both ways. Um, I really, I'm expecting almost everyone to use this now that it's found, um, especially on this map, so that's about it here, though. This next example is on Office 02, which I think might be a map that is influenced the most by this tech, um, because now, out of spawn, on one of the top spawns, this is pretty much objectively the best opening route. Um, you're gonna want to do is grab, clip this glass with a gun, and then suddenly you're on the roof with the gun, uh, much faster than the person on the bottom can get to you, and if it's not obvious, the advantage to doing this is because normally um, you can either, you can clip the glass and you won't have a gun, or you can break the glass and run out, but then you're risking getting shot from below like this from the other person. Um, but this strategy is uh, both. You just, you can take the gun with you and um, flip the glass, which gives you the safety and the gun. Um, and spe especially good because there's a purple box up here, which means you can save it and get a duplicate. Um, that's pretty much it on, for this map. You can technically use it on these doors down here, and really on any doors, but there's not much of a point. Um, I guess another um, important thing, place to note is that on these doors here, you can, after the glass is broken, you can use it again. Um, this would be a really good way to surprise someone who's at up the top here because you can it's much faster to clip and then shoot them immediately up there than it is to walk around the side. Uh, so that's pretty much it for Office 2. So this next example is going to be Office 21. Um, this is probably the map where there's the most ways that you can use this tech. Because uh, as you can imagine, previously when someone would clip into this box, 
down here to get um, the items and stuff, to get the, the all the goodies, that what you'd want to do is you'd want to grab this, uh, this flare gun and shoot it in there to kill them with fire. But now what you can do is you can just grab really any gun on the map, um, doesn't matter too much, and clip in there with it to kill them. Um, that's definitely going to be probably one of the faster ways to kill them, if not the most effective. Um, it's worth noting that this sword down here is a pretty useful item because it spawns so close to the door. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can clip it. You can door cl door grab clip um, clip grab it with, from where it spawns. But if you put it close to the door, um, it is possible. But the downside is that because the sword is so low on the ground, it's much harder to do this tech with. Um, I'll try and get it for you at least once. There we go. So I got it. Um, and this is good because if you want to come in here with a sword, let's say, like, maybe all these items are garbage. In this case, they weren't super garbage, but sometimes you just get really bad items and you need the sword to come with you, and then you could come this way with a sword. Because normally, if you want to get it over here with a sword, you have to go above the map, and then now you can use the sword over here, and it's much better on the right side of the map. Um, there's even more ways that you can use this tag on this map. I'll, I'll keep going over them. This gun, the uh, I think this is the flintlock, or is it the blunderbuss? Never, I can never remember. But you can do this, um, clip into this door, and then you can shoot it up up there, um, which is insane because no one would ever expect to get shot from the floor, um, which is cool. Uh, one last crazy example that I'll show you is if you happen to get a sharp shot on this map from the random box in one of the presents, you can clip into this door. Oops. There we go. And now you can do these angles, which uh, as you can see are kind of crazy. Uh, you can snipe someone out of the air from in the ground. Well, uh, so yeah, that's a thing. I think that's pretty much it to cover on this map. There's a lot more stuff you can do with these doors. Obviously, I'll let you experiment with that. It works on every item, with every item on this map, I'm pretty sure, including the barrels and boxes. Um, I wasn't able to find anything useful with grenades. It seemed like, at least in offline, they would just get stuck in the wall and they wouldn't really do much. So that'll be it for this map, or this, yeah, this map. The last example that I'll mention in this video is on Office 07. Um, it's not super important on this map, it doesn't change very much, but basically now you can get a table up into this spike room here um, without too much effort. Before you had to do a stuck door clip, and now you can uh, pretty easily get one in there. If I can. There we go. Another interesting thing is that once you have the table up here, um, you can actually put it down and then stand on top of it without having shoes on. Um, I don't know why you'd ever want to do this, but it's kind of neat because you want to peek up without getting the boots. Another thing you can uh, kind of obviously do is you can do this clip with a gun or a pistol and fight someone who has a magnum up here, which is probably the easiest way to um, get the pistol up here instead of doing a stuck door clip now, which I would honestly just recommend you do the, the clip grab instead. But that's kind of going to be it for this video. There's a few more maps that I didn't include just because I didn't feel like they were really worth mentioning. Um, it didn't influence the map too much, but this is a super cool tech and I'm hoping that people pick it up, especially with the release of this video. Um, I'll probably do a down clipping tutorial next, which was I planned the next tech video to be, but then we found this tech today um, and it was super cool, so I knew I had to do a video on it. Uh, until next time, see ya.